नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् O mage to the blessed one the worldly one the supremely enlightened one sadhu 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 today uh, we're going to learn a beautiful sutta this is about the qualities of supreme buddha Title was the Lion's Roar. It is now so Supreme Buddha does. It's very famous uh, simile. Give it to the Supreme Buddha, or even anyone who preaches the Dhamma in that way or in that uh, uh, properly, uh, especially the Four Noble Truths, the first time they reveal. Mention that nothing can be changed from that. That is called the lion's roar in the Buddhism. So we will uh, today we will discuss that sort of thing here. There is a. Uh, Usually, the Supreme Buddha is considered as a lion. You know, uh, earlier time when the, there was no statues. In that time, also to represent Supreme Buddha, they asked to they they were they worship people worship to the Bodhi tree, stupa, and some monuments uh, like a uh, lions and the uh, lotus. So those are the monument that they represent the Supreme Buddha in that. So. You see, every person uh, who does their own work, like you guys, obviously working, you don't do without a knowledge. You know, like uh, you just grow up without studying anything. You apply for a job and you got it, and you are doing something. Not like that. You for for any job, you need skills. the proper guidance proper education you know so when someone is expressing something the teaching even the supreme buddha's teaching it also has the particular knowledge about the things based on that supreme buddha tells the truth you know and that truth changes in the person's life so the person attains the enlightenment or he walks toward the nibbana and what those things are what the knowledge the supreme buddha possess what kind of power he has so it is mentioned in this sutta when we see uh, there is before anyone attain the stream entrance that person eradicate three things you know sakkay ditti vichikicha And see the bad paramas, you know. So the sakai that it means the, uh, the view of yourself, you know, the myself. I, this is me, this is mine, this is myself, that one. And then, which uh, is the child means doubt. So if the person understands what the uh, supreme Buddha is, or how he preaches the Dhamma, or what kind of Dhamma he has, then. obviously the person's doubt can be finished so today we are going to learn the every word what the supreme buddha express or taught us it has the particular reason and based on that supreme buddha has taught this dhamma okay so the sutta name is called sihanaadu sutta alliance raw 
and it has given the beautiful summary. Uh, if you have the Pali words, look at it. Siho bhikkave migaraja sayana samayang asaya nikkamati. Siho means the lion bhikkave because migaraja, the king of forest. Sayana samayang. Sayana samayang means evening time. At evening, you know. Asaya nikkamati. He come out of his lair. So, Asaya nikkamati means going out. Okay. So, remember the word Pali word nikkamati. Nikkamati means going out. So, you know, in that, there is a one sutta called the uh, Alavaka sutta. In that sutta also, the Yakalavakas, the Supreme Buddha. So, go out, you know. So come on, go outside of my mansion. And then Supreme Buddha does that. There is also this Nikkamati word he used. So remember the Nikkamati means going out or coming outside. Okay. Asaya Nikkamitva Vijambati. Asaya Nikkamitva. After coming out, he stretch his body, you know, so all the, the Sleepiness, drowsiness, or those things he get rid of. And then, Vijambhitva Samanta Chatuddhisam Anu Viloketi. So, what he does after stretching his body, he look at all four directions. All the four directions, or he look at this, he turn his uh, head and see everywhere. Samanta Chatuddhisam Anu Viloketi. Anu Viloketva Tikkandu Sihanada Naranti. So what he does three times, uh, he does the lion's roar. Tikkandu siyanada naditva gocharaya pakkamati. So after doing three times, the, doing this, this lion's roar, naditva, it means having sound, you know, so the song, the, the echo, you know, or uh, his roar is continuously spreading in that way. So the huge sound that it makes, it's called the naditva. Okay. Gocharaya Pakkamati. After means after doing his lion's roar, all this then he gocharaya. Gocharaya means for searching the game. Pakkamati. So he goes out. Tank is sahetu. And what is the reason for that? Maha. Kuddake pani visamagate sankantang apade sinti. So, Supreme Buddha mentioned here that why is the, this lion does that way? Why he do the lion's roar and then he goes out? So, this lion thinks that when I go out, so the smaller people, when smaller animals, when they see to the lion, so much destruction happens. Today is the, it's a little bit different, but in that time, it was really seen when the lion come out, you know, the, all the animals run here and there, and so many injuries happen. So when they hear the lions roar, all the small animals, what they do, they goes into their dwelling, you know. So the lion thinks that I should not harm the very smaller beings, just you know. So what he want, he want that. His stomach. He finds some game what he needed. That's all. So, uh, because of that particular reason, he does uh, the lion's roar. Here he mentioned, Siho Tikho Bhikkave Tathagatas Adivachanam Arahato Samma Sambuddhas. What it says, Siho Siha, the Siha word also used for Tathagata. Tathagatas. So Tathagatas Adivachanang means the special name uh, is for Supreme Buddha. Adivachanate means given, given name or extra name or the similar name you can call or substitute name for that particular thing. You know? So like for the merit, uh, the good, good deeds what we do, the, the merit has a different name. It's called the happiness. So the happiness and the merit are equal name. You know? 
sukham setang adivachanam yadidam punyani so the happiness if you want to call that with by another name you should call with the punya you know so the same way the adivachana for the supreme buddha who is enlightened one the some uh, the perfect enlightened one the samma sambuddha is called the siha yanko bhikkave tathagato parisaya dhammam deseti idam asa hoti siha nadas nin yanko bhikkave as the supreme buddha tathagato parisayam dhammam deseti supreme buddha teach the dhamma to people or the masses or community or parisaya it means the gathering okay where all the all the people whoever are there whoever gathered there he teach the dhamma to them idamas idamas means that is idamas idamas means that is hoti sihanadasmi so that is the lion's roar of supreme buddha so what is the lion's roar of supreme buddha teaching dhamma teaching dhamma that is so supreme buddha mentioned here दसैमानि भिक्खवे तथागतस्स तथागत बलानि बिकॉज देयर आर दिस 10 पावर्स ऑफ तथागत येही बलेही समन्नागतो बिकॉज ऑफ आई मीन्स विद दिस 10 पावर्स और बाय दिस 10 पावर्स मोशन so so prem the because of this ten powers this ten powers what he possess he become able to teach the dhamma so what all the things we learn from the dhamma if you want to understand how the supreme buddha know about this particular things how why he mentioned this there are several doubts we have time to time is it possible that this the supreme buddha what he mentioned it is really happen or not or some of the time that how i can understand this or i am unable you know so it must be some someone else has said these things sometimes we have that those thoughts in our mind even we are learning and practicing buddhism for a long time the doubt is always there until that we attain the stream enter stage of stream enter okay so to see that those doubts and get rid of them these ten powers are really helpful if you understand and know about these ten powers and always be mindful of that then whenever the certain thoughts or whenever the any word come from the uh, dhamma which we are unable to understand at this moment we can accept it by the faith and those things that thing can happen if you know this ten powers because the supreme buddha what he taught to the people based on this ten powers if he does not have a t- this ten powers then he won't be able to teach the dhamma as he taught us so he cannot do the lion's roar he cannot teach the dhamma without this ten powers so every bit of in 45 years what he has taught to the, this world 45 years what he has done to this world it is based on this 10 things so pay keen attention and remember these things you know there's a beautiful some some pali beautiful words so it will be very helpful for you to see so prema the say katamani the sign what is this 10 इध भिखवे योर बिकॉज तथागतो सुप्रीम बुद्ध ठानंच ठानतो अठानंच अठानतो यथा भूतं पजानाति इट मींस तथागत 
really know the possible as possible and impossible is impossible. So what he does? What can be happen? He knows that this thing can happen. Atta means thanam uh, This is this 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 is going to happen. Atta This cannot be happen. These two things, Supreme Buddha, know properly. Yatha Bhutan Pajanati. He knows the core. You know properly. He has a complete understanding of possibilities or understanding of what is possible and what is impossible. So if something is possible, then definitely Supreme Buddha mentioned this is possible thing. He teaches the Dhamma to that. If there is a something impossible, he teaches the Dhamma as this is impossible, it cannot be attained. It cannot be happened. Like this entire Dhamma path, is begin with the confidence, we slowly grow with the uh, virtue, and then the mindfulness. The further the person walks, then he attains enlightenment. If there is no faith, there is no confidence on Supreme Buddha, so developing virtue becomes a little bit difficult. If the virtue is not there, then so with the help of confidence, the person can attain enlightenment. That's it. That is possible. Without virtue, without having uh, purified ourselves by virtue. So it cannot, the person cannot attain the enlightenment. That is impossible. So that thing Supreme Buddha mentioned. So when you see the Supreme Buddha's entire Dhamma, always remember that Supreme Buddha, what he has taught, these things are possible and these things are impossible. Only those things you can see it is possible or impossible. Like attending jhanas. So what the path Supreme Buddha mentioned for attending jhanas, that is a possible thing. If it is not, then Supreme Buddha mentioned that. Supreme Buddha mentioned that person with the merit that goes after breaking a part of his body, he goes to the heavenly world. That is possible. The person who does not have a virtuous behavior and haven't done anything good, person cannot go to the heavenly world. That is impossible. Such a possibility and impossibility, Chathagata knows very well. And because of this, that Supreme Buddha, Yampi Bhikkha Vita Thagato, Thanam Chathanato, because of Chathagata knows what is possible, what is impossible. And that knowledge become his power. Yang Balang Agam, by that power, he knows he, he come to the with the confidence, with the power, you know, Parisasu Sihanada Nadati. He does the, he preaches the Dhamma or he does the lion straw in the assemblies. Brahma Chakran That he turns the Brahma will, the will of enlightenment, he turns it. So, because of this first power, Supreme Buddha is able to do that. Punaja Parang Bhikkave Tathagato Atita Nagat Pachupanana. So the word is called atita. Atita means the past. Anagatang means which has not come yet. The future. Pachupannanang. It means in this present moment. So what it says? Atita nagata pachupannang. It means in the past, in the future, or in this present moment. Kamma samadhananang. The Kamma Samadhana, Kamma means the acts because of their doing or person's doing. Thana so, hetu so, vipakang yatha bhutang pajana. So the person, whatever they are doing, even what they have done in the past, in the future, what the people will do, or in this present moment, 
what they are doing so based on their actions karma samadhanam what the path they have chosen what the path they have choose based on their actions tathagata hetuso he knows the reason hetuso vipaka so their the reason and the reply a reply of it or the what it become to them or uh, vipaka it means result so based on the reason based on their actions he knows the reason why they chose this path what why they are doing this and based on that what the reason reply will be there what the result will be there vipaka yatha bhutan pajana tathagata no bhaga so what is the second one is that the person whatever they doing in past present and future based on their actions the tathagata knows the reason and he knows the result of it the what the result will this his actions will the the supreme buddha know very well in the uh, english it says again the tathagata understands as it really is the result of undertaking of karma past future and present in terms of possibilities and causes so supreme buddha knows very well based on their actions so in many time many time supreme buddha has taught the dhamma that this person is going to help this person is going to misery this person is going to born in heavenly world this person is coming back to the human world these these are the karma these are the things that he is suffering supreme buddha know because of what they have done in their past or what they are doing in this present moment and what they will do in the future the supreme buddha know and he express okay this is the possibilities like um, in the past what they have done so for the uh, dev that the supreme buddha said this dev that is going to the hell and he is going to suffer in there why the supreme buddha said because the dev that has divided the sangha he spilled the blood from the supreme buddha such a major offense he has done in past and the result of that is he will gonna suffer that supreme buddha mentioned because of he knows the karma what he has done for the future now for the present moment supreme buddha went to the matta kundali you know the person the kid and he was very sick supreme buddha knows that if i go to his home and if he visit he develop the confidence he will have a chance to reborn in a good place so the same thing he did supreme buddha visited as soon as this matta kundali saw the supreme buddha he developed the confidence on him and after departing of body he reborn in the heavenly world that is in the present moment what his actions were div- decided that he is going to reborn in that for the future anadha supreme buddha has mentioned several times that the ananda will attain ananda will attain enlightenment in future so based on his actions ananda has uh, supreme buddha already declared that he is going to attain the enlightenment those are all things that what happened in past what happened in present what will happen in future tathagata know very well according to their karma he does not say just because of anything else he sees their karma he look at their karma and based on that he knows the cause of this karma and he give the result and that is thing supreme buddha mentioned tathagata ye hi bale hi samannagat uh tathagata means what he knows about this karma and the result of it based on this power acquiring this power tathagata preach the dhamma to the assemblies he does the lion's roar in that that is the second one then supreme buddha mentioned tathagato sabbat gamini patipadam yatha bhutam pajanati there is a pali word called sabbat gamini sabba means all okay sabba means all gamini it means pathway going you know 
So Sabbata Gamini, whatever to go to the everywhere, wherever the directions are, going in that Sabbata Gamini. Patipadang it means path. Gamini it means destination or the route or where the particular thing is that the person knows. So Sabbata Gamini Patipadang Yatha Bhutan Pajana. So whatever the route leading to these particular directions, Supreme Buddha knows everything. Like if someone wants to reborn to the heavenly world, Tathagata knows the path to reborn in heavenly world. If someone is want to go to the hell, Tathagata knows the path to the hell also. If Tathagata, if someone wants to reborn in the Brahma world, Tathagata knows the path of how to reborn in Brahma world also. If someone wants to attain the enlightenment, just finish then all the suffering. Tathagata know the path of that too. So the Sabbatha Gamini, it means whatever the path you want to go, whatever the path you want to choose, which direction you want to go, Tathagata know the direction of that. Like one day, Supreme, uh, the one of the couple come to the Supreme Buddha and they ask, Bhante, we are very old and we love each other a lot, you know, and for the whole life we love and we still that we need when we pass away from this life we want to bond together in the same place and the supreme mother taught them them okay if you want to reborn in the same place and with it together then practice this dhamma similarly and maybe and after departing of them they reborn to the same place and they visited the supreme mother too so that thing Supreme Buddha knows very well. Someone wanted to reborn in the Brahma world. Supreme Buddha mentioned how to reborn in Brahma world. He shown the path. And for the enlightenment, we all know that Supreme Buddha taught the Dhamma. So the many or the majority of people attain the enlightenment because of this path. So the path, wherever it leads, all the path that Agatha knows, just you have to pick where you want to go means for us not everyone in this particular in this very moment were thinking about enlightenment some of us just need the happiness some of us just need the peace of mind some of us want to know a little bit more further because enlightenment is something to detach ourselves from all the belongings detach ourselves from all the attachments you know it is a little bit hard. It's really hard. So at this very moment, if you are not able to make that decision, it's okay. But you can decide which path you want to lead. If you want to go to the heavenly world, Supreme Buddha knows the path where to do. And he will be the guide. You know, Satta. Satta has another meaning. Satta we call the teacher. Satta means the person who cross over, who take you from the desert to cross the desert path. So he leads and everyone follows. So he will be there to help you to cross that desert, to show the path. He will be the guide. Supreme Buddha is there. He won't take you, he won't hold your hand and take you with, or he, not by his words. Supreme Buddha is not something like that. He will just show you path. You will say, this is the path, walk on this, and you will attain that. There is one beautiful sutta. It mentioned that how the being born according to karma in the particular places, like uh, he gave the different, different similes. Like someone is suffering in the desert, someone have a little bit water at the tree shed, you know, someone has a filled water with the uh, horn and beautiful lilies out there, and huge trees and that. Supreme Buddha knows that according to their karma and actions, the particular result is there. So those paths, Supreme Buddha know how they lead. So that is the, his power. And based on that power, Tathagata does the lion's roar. So whatever the path Supreme Buddha has mentioned, because of he has tested it, he knows that path. And that's why he recommends it. So remember that.
नेक्स्ट वन सुप्रीम बुद्ध सेस तथागतो अनेक धातु नाना धातु लोकं यथाभूतं पजानाति सो तथागता अनेक धातु अनेक मेंस मेनी countless or numerous numbers you know dhatu means means elements nana dhatu means variations of elements different different elements of lokam it means worlds yathabhutam pajanati knows very well he has understood those things what he has understood many worlds or different different elements nana dhatu means the variations of it lokam tathagato so it mentioned that the tathagata knows the, all the different variations of dhatus like we also have the four elements you know the prativi dhatu apo dhatu tejo dhatu vayu dhatu the earth element fire element water element air element tathagata knows that so by knowing this this particular this entire body it is also become a loka that tathagata knows nana dhatu anek dhatu the variation in between people different different people the nana dhatu is this different different people the different elements is there in that their, their body tathagata knows that too. then tathagata knows about different little bit more further anek dhatu nana dhatu means tathagata know about the hell very well that is also the different element different place the tagata know the place of misery the four bad destination hell niraya then the tagata knows the uh, uh, animal kingdom kirsan lok the tagata knows the ghost world the preta yuni the tagata know the asur world the demons world the tagata know that then the tagata know the human world is entire world the tagata has understands then the tagata know the heavenly world how many heavenly worlds are there so these are the devas from the patriyat chatu maharaj ji ka sikha yam ani marati parnimit vasavati up to there the six world tathagata no very well then the brahma loka tathagata knows that these are the brahmas the kama vachar loka tathagata know that then the tathagata knows a little bit more further of that there is called suddha vasa devta it means the person who has attained the uh, non returner state they are going to stay there up to they attain the enlightenment the tathagata knows that element the tathagata know those word the tathagata knows neva sanya nasanya loka agincara aitana loka those word the tathagata knows very well so the all the words all the words the variations of them the difference is what the found in between those world tathagata knows very well like human world is not similar with the animal world usually in the scientific terms or usually we call that you know we we try to make a similarities with ourselves with the animals you know time to time we do that thing you know we call ourselves the humans are the social animals that is we have given the title that's true but the difference is in between the people and animal the tathagata decides for that the tathagata make divination of that so the all the variations in elements the tathagata knows differences of elements the tathagata knows very well and based on this karma based on this actions tathagata teaches the dhamma that's called the sthiyana if the tathagata doesn't know the differences then he cannot attain he cannot call himself the samma sambut or loka vidu the tathagata has a one quality called loka vidu the loka vidu it means in this here he knows very well of all the elements and dhatus that is the tathagata's power next one to prem buddha mention tathagata bhikave tathagato sattanam nanaadi muttikatam yathabhutam prajanati 
what it says that the diversity of beings the Thagata know very well. Nana di Muttikata. Nana means differences. Muttikata it means the nature of the people. Sattana it means the beings. Okay. So the differences in beings, Supreme Buddha knows very well. Like Supreme Buddha says, animal, how they live, what their life is, how their how much the lifespan is, Supreme Buddha mentioned this. In human world, Supreme Buddha mentioned that each being are different, and he knows the variation of that according to their karma. Their human beings' lifespan, Supreme Buddha knows very well. Supreme Buddha knows the the variations of heavenly beings also. Not all the heavenly beings are the equal. They have a differences based on their own actions. So the differences of that, how long their life they will gonna live, what kind of consciousness they will have, the Thagata knows very well of that too. The powers they what they possess, the Thagata know that too. So the differences in the in between people. Mm -hmm. The position of the beings, Tathagata no, in that. So the diversity and the differences. Tathagata know very well. Like uh, the particular, why the Angulimala Bhante has the power of that? Why the Ananda Bhante has the memory, the power of memory? Why the Sariputta Bhante? is the master of wisdom why the Mughalana Bhante is the powerful psychic he has a psychic power such a variations of being like all the human beings we born in same way we have same thing but the variations of this why is there the Thagata know that too in, in between people also the differences like the Thagata does not teach the same technique to every person in all the time. He look at that person, he sees what the drawbacks, what the good things does this person possess, and according to that, he teaches the Dhamma. And because of that, we have a little bit difficulties to guide people because we do not possess such a mind, you know, we do not possess a, such a power. If the person comes to the big course or the monks and they look at Look at that person, they advise them, okay, these are the words of Supreme Buddha. In case, if the Supreme Buddha is there, he will directly see that person's nature. He will see the differences in, in his mind, the differences of in between people, diversity, the what kind of qualities he possesses. He will look at that and based on this quality, Supreme Buddha will teach the Dhamma to them. There is a beautiful example. In the, in the one time, the Sariputta Bhante, he was teaching in uh, the meditation of impurities, we call the Kammatthana, you know. He was giving the particular task to the, this monk, okay, from this moment, you will practice this Asuba Bhavana, in impurities meditation for all the time. That is called Kammatthana. This is one meditation this particular person practiced for a long, long time. So, Supreme Buddha uh, look at saw that thing the Sariputta Bhante is giving. Supreme Buddha humbly asked him, Sariputta, Sariputta, do you know the nature of these people? Do you know their past lives? And he humbly said, Bhante, no, I do not know their previous life. I do not understand the nature of these people. And then Supreme Buddha said, then how can you give such a task to them? And he said, Bhante, I did not know. From that moment, Supreme Buddha stopped to give them. Supreme Buddha mentioned these people were last 500 years, never seen impurities in their life, never have a thought of impurity. So how can they develop the meditation of impurity and attain the enlightenment? They have practiced Subha Bhavana, you know, in that way. So teach them Dhamma for the Supreme. They can realize. Teach them the meditation so they can realize such a thing Supreme Buddha mentioned in that time. Because of Tathagata has Nanadi Muttikatam Yathabhutan Pajara. 
the variations, the differences in between people, the qualities, what they possess, what the quality they inherit, such a thing the Thagata know very well. And based on that, the Thagata teach the Dharma. Like when the Tathagata goes to the farmers, he teaches the Dharma to them, taking example of farming. When the Tathagata teaches the Dharma to the accountant, he takes the examples of accounting and teaches the Dharma to them. Some Tathagata, when he teaches the Dharma to the trainers, the horse trainers, elephant trainers. So he, when he teach them, he te give the similes of the behavior of animal and techniques of what they use. So the differences, what the inheritance, what they have, the qualities, the Thakata understands that. And that's why it is very important for us to listen to the Dhamma for a long, long time of great. So whatever the different, different path that Supreme Buddha teaches, to the people, same thing, one of the paths we can embrace, we can see the variations and we can choose the one particular path to ourselves so we can walk on the path of enlightenment. And for that reason, we need a lot of Dhamma in us. So Supreme Buddha knows the differences and variations in the people's life or their minds and based on that, Tathagata teaches the Dhamma. That is his power. Then Supreme Buddha mentioned further, Parasattanam parapugalanam indriya paro pariyattam yathabhutam pajanati. So the words are called parasattanam. Para means outside. All the parasattanam. So the different animals or other person or other beings. You know, different beings. Parapuggalana, so the variations of different, different people. Parasattanam means diff different, different animals of different, different beings, like the heavenly beings, hell beings, uh, and or human beings, or the Brahma beings. Those are Parasattana. Parapuggalana, individually. First, he knows by the race of their, what they are. And then Parapuggalana means individually also. In human world, the individuality is there. We are our own person. So the individuality the Thagata knows. In heavenly world also, the individualness is there. There is no equalness. There is no something connected. People are individual in that way. So, parapuggalana, indriya paro pariyattam yathabhutam pajanati. Indriya paro pariyattam, it means the past faculties, you know. The inside, the inner faculties of the being, the Thagata, know very well. So the, the, this five Indriya, Indriya Dharma is called Sadha, Virya, Sati, Samadhi, and Panya. Those are called uh, psychic faculties or Indriya uh, Dharma, you know. So based on this, how much the person has these particular objects, Tathagata know very well. Tathagata teach our enlightenment completely based on this Indriya Jnana. You know? So if we have confidence, that we have the Indriya, the faculty of confidence, then we are all walking on the path. And Tathagata knows based on this quality, how further you will gonna attain the path of enlightenment. So differences in between people, how much faith this particular person have, the Thagata know very well. How much energy, effort he has toward the Dhamma, the Thagata knows that more. How much mindfulness, concentration does person possess, the Thagata know that. The mindfulness, the complete, the bliss, or what we call the jhanas, how much jhana state the person has, the Thagata know that. Panya, the wisdom, how much wisdom this person has. So, Indriya Paro Pariyate, it means the faculties the person have accordance toward that, the Thagata preached the Dhamma. So, the first, the Thagata knows the faculties of each person, like we have ear, nose, tongue, eyes, you know, 
those are our faculties those are our indriya for this visible world if someone is a blind then we know this person is blind because does not have a eye someone does not hear someone is a deaf we know that this person does not have a ear someone is a foolish one so we know that this person is foolish does not have the wisdom how we know looking at them you know so it these are the visible things we can see tathagata have the inner inside that everything what we have how much confidence we have that is also the confidence also similar to our eyes energy effort that is also similar to our eye our sati samadhi and panya the mindfulness the concentration and the wisdom it is equal to our eye ear nose and tongue so what we have we do not see if you go in front of mirror you will see your reflection and you can see that you have eyes nose ear and then differences are there this is beautiful this is ugly you know those things we decide ourselves but inside us how much dhamma we have developed the progress how much is there it can be known by the divine eye and the tathagata possesses that based on that if the person does not have the indriya called the faith but he has the very strong indriya of effort the energy the virya then tathagata teach him the dhamma so this person can use the effort to attain the light if some someone has only faith but other are weak then tathagata teach the dhamma to how to develop the faith or gather faith to go for the attain the light someone has attained the mindfulness tathagata knows that he has the indriya he has the faculty of mindfulness tathagata teach the dhamma according to that so he says parasattanam parapugalana so the different different beings and different different individual beings indriya paroparyatang yathabhutam pajanati the faculties of their inner you know the enlightened faculties tathagata understands very well and based on that that become his power sorry so this to have the knowledge of all the beings faculties that become his power based on that he teach the dhamma that is tathagata explains then supreme the mention further tathagato jhan vimukha samadhi samapatti samabattinam sankalesa sankilesam vodanam vutthanam yathabhutam pajanati tathagata jhan it means dhyana first jhana second jhana third jhana fourth vimok it means liberation or uh, separating yourself from the attachment samadhi so the jhanas with the detachment of yourself what the concentration you get samapatti the establishment or achievement of that so all the things that jhana jhana vimukha samapatti samapatti it means the entire thing that mindfulness what it has there tathagata no sankilesa so the impurities of it it means how your jhanas can be spoiled or what are the impurities in your jhana is there tathagata knows obstacles tathagata knows of your uh, meditation it means when we are practicing meditation we understand okay we are doing good but some of the time we don't understand these are the obstacles are in front of us tathagata understand that the obstacles sankilesa the the bound is the holding thing like people do do they have like uh, i have attended the first jhana and they enjoy that enjoy that because it's beautiful state of mindfulness and when they started to enjoy they stopped to go further 
what they do once they attain that state they are happy so they stop to go further that stopping what stop them that call sankhili san so the some impurities or some of the holding some of the uh, of these things they stop him to go further tathagata means vodan the washing away you know the clearing purification the tathagata knows that vuthana the establishment you know so i standing there on that particular thing so uh you can call it uh definite defilement cleansing and emerging in regard in the jhanas emancipations and concentration so so the cleansing everything the regarding the meditation the tathagata knows very well and because of that the tathagata knows the impurities the tathagata knows how to clear it out the tathagata knows how to reform yourself or come back to the path that becomes his power so anyone who are coming to the tathagata talking about jhanas the tathagata knows all the obstacles you know and that thing becomes his power based on that power the tathagata teach the dhamma to this world then the tathagata explains further tathagato aneka vihitam kubbe nivasam anusarati aneka vihitam means in a various forms and various lives kubbe nivasam kubbe nivasam means where you dwell before anusarati he recall anusarati means recalling you know looking at and recalling so ekam pijati ve pijati tisso pijatiyo chatasso pijatiyo so a kambi means one life ve p means two lives tiyo tisso p means three lives chatasso p means four life five and it goes further and 10 20 50 500 1000 10000 1000 and million thousand something those are all the lives what he has spent he can recall them very well anusarati he can recall them even not only the thousand and millions but the kalpa also the eons also he can recall sangvatta kalpa when this all this forming coming to birth and formation tathagata knows that vivatta kalpa means when this earth or when this entire universe crumble down and walk on toward destruction in that yon also the tathagata knows so all the many of aneka sangvatta vivatta kalpa the many kalma kam kalpas the tathagata knows what he knows in that amutrasi evang nam in those life evang nam my name was this evang goto this was my clan evang mano this was my this was my teacher evang maharu these were my food i have tasted that evam sukham dukha sukham uh, evam sukha dukha patisangedi i have felt this kind of happiness pleasure suffering pain you understand eva mayu paryanto and this long my life was so tato chuto amutra gupadi after departing from there i reborn into this place so the tathagata knows the, all the lives and in those life what he knows what kind of name i had what kind of feature i had what kind of qualities i possess what kind of happiness food those were the tathagata understand so like uh, it, the tathagata knows for himself same way the tathagata knows for others also in this long life of journey of kalpa and kalpas every being who has come to the tathagata one or twice they have associated the supreme buddha in previous life when he was a bodhisattva or before the bodhisattva also like it is similar way if you go to the, your reunion you know like now it's it means in in canada us it happens you know they have a reunions you know so we recall the all the memories oh in college time we were like this crazy people you know something like that so those are recall 
Sometimes the next person, they don't remember, but you do. And how? You get pride to express that. Okay, I know that thing. You did these things. Do you remember? And you say, no, that happened. So for the single life, how much we enjoy to remember the past and express to others? Think of that. The Supreme Buddha knows eons and eons. He knows for him, his life entirely and he knows others also. And based on that, he teaches the Dhamma to them. You know, he teaches the Dhamma to them. That is the beautiful thing. Some of the time we don't know where we were, but the Thapata remembers. And according to that, he teaches the Dhamma. He teaches the Dhamma. That gives a chance. For us to attain enlightenment. Remember that. So then that becomes remembering the past lives. It becomes his power, and based on that power, Tathagata teach the Dhamma to the people. Tathagata di bena chakkuna visuddena atikanta manusakena satte pasati chavamani upajamani hine panite suvani dubbani. Sugate, Dugate, Yatha, Tamupagate, Sate, Pajanati. This is called the Tagata's knowledge called Chutupapadanyan. This one is called Chutupapad. What it is, says? Beautiful words are there. Remember this word. This Pali word is directly word by Supreme Buddha. So remember the meaning. Dibbain, it means divine. Chakkuna, it means with I, with the divine I. Visuddhena, completely pure one. Completely pure. Visuddhena means purified one. Atikanta manusakena. It means beyond the human reach or exceeding the human's eyes. So the pure eyes, what they have, which goes beyond the human eye. What he say? Satte. So the beings. Pasati. He look at the beings. Pasati, it means looking at them. Chavamani. Chavamani, it means departing from this world. You know, we call the Chuti. So, Chuti means dying from there. The Chavamani, so he sees the death of them. Upajamani, arrival of them, coming to birth or being getting born, getting birth. Death. In which variations? So, the departing and arrival, he sees them with the dip differences like he ne, someone has born, born as an inferior someone has panite superior suvanne the beautiful life dubbanne not that much beautiful sugate born into the heavenly world dugate fall into the place of misery yatha kamapagate based on accordance on their karma Tathagata knows. Tathagata sees that thing. You know, same divine eye that Anuradhavante also had. He also had the same eye. It's a beautiful thing that only not the Supreme Buddha possessed, but disciple also can possess such a divine eye. So, Tathagata has knowledge of how the beings are dying, how the beings are getting birth, and the difference is variations of their birth, variations of their gain, according to their karma, the Thagata know very well. Based on that power, the Thagata preached the Dhamma. Remember that, that is very important. In the same way, Supreme Buddha explains, Ime vata bhunto satta kaya jutcharitena samannagato vachi dutcharitena samannagato na samannagata mano dutcharitena samannagata Ariyana Upavadaka Micha Dittika Micha Dittikam Masamadana Ekaya Sabheda Parang Marana Payang Dugati Minipada Nirayang Upupanna. Supreme Buddha mentioned here. Ime Vata Bonto. Here the person, the person, person. What he done? Kaya Ducharitena. The misbehavior, you know, the spoiling, you know, the wrong karma, wrong bodily action. Vachi ducharitena, wrong verbally action. Mano ducharitena, with a spoiled mind or 
the wrong mindly actions samannagata with that aryana upadaka saying bad words to the noble people micha dittika who has the wrong view micha dittikam samadana with that wrong view he practice he take the practices actions ek ayas veda param marana so after departing of this body this person getting birth in the bad destination against of the supreme the say the person is also having the good bodily good actions verbally good actions mentally good actions with the noble friends with the noble view the noble actions what he to take based on that he reborn in the heavenly world so the accordance of their actions accordance of their being tathagata sees the how they are where they are getting birth that is his power based on this power tathagata sees the power and last one is that tathagato asavanam khayam anasava cheto vimuttim panya vimuttim ditte vadamme sayam abhinya satchikatva upasampajji viharati tathagat asavana kaya all the tens destructions of tens anasava completely freed from tens cheto vimukti the liberation of mind panya vimukti liberation of wisdom dithevadamme in this very moment in this very moment sayam abhinya realizing by himself satchikatva after realization upasampajya viharati he dwells with such a knowledge so the he, what he mentioned if the person the tathagata remembers himself that i have attained enlightenment i am a liberated one have the knowledge of that liberation he dwells in this world and reach the dhamma kvatas not by himself but he understands others also how many tens they have how many impurities they have the tathagata understands that someone has attained the enlightenment the tathagata doesn't need to know that this person is enlightened or not one day in supreme buddha's time what happened the 30 monks they thought that they are enlightened and after rainy retreat they going they thought that we should go to the supreme buddha and let him know that we are attained enlightenment but tathagata know very well when they were arriving to tathagata tathagata already told to the ananda bande ananda these 30 monks are coming from this directions when they come here by my word tell them go to the cemetery you know go first visit there and then come back so they did when they come they said ananda bande said to them the supreme buddha mentioned you should go to the cemetery and when they visited the cemetery they thought they are enlightened but still they have some stains in there some tents remain in there so the some of them started to develop desire some of them started to develop hatred you know in cemetery it's not like today is the beautiful you know the angels are there the stone carving angels or this beautiful what it call the the booths are there where you know we decorate beautifully in this today's country today's time we decorate the cemetery you know the beautiful flowers the grass should be there we pay for that too but earlier time in supreme buddha's time we do not have that luxury or we do not believe on that time what they do if someone passed away they take their body and throw into the forest that's all that is called cemetery so when these people visited there they saw that couple of bodies i mean some of bodies it was thrown today so they look at those body they are still beautiful so they develop desire some of them bodies were couple of days old so they know the, all the swollen swollen the, the, what is the selling of the body the became becoming the blue green something like that they saw that some of some of the bodies were little bit tear apart by animals the dogs the wolves and those things the the birds 
they started. So th those things, they started, they get angry of that, you know? And some was where I am, the delusion. There was that. Supreme Buddha saw that this person is now in that state, I can teach them. And then taught Dhamma. In that very moment, they become enlightened. So Tathagata knows that person is enlightened or not. Based on that, this knowledge of his, their realization or enlightenment, Tathagata preached the Dhamma to human beings. Tathagata preached Dhamma to the heavenly beings. These ten powers, one by one, this one, one by one, these ten powers may be a little bit different. Maybe we will not understand. But when it comes all ten together, then that person can develop the confidence. Yes, what the Supreme Buddha taught in this particular sutta, not in this sutta what we are talking, but when we are learning or studying in this sutta, I am not able to understand yet. But yes, the Thagata, based on these ten powers, what he has realized, he has taught to us. Then the doubt for the teaching won't be there in that way. Yes, some of the time, a little bit uh, misunderstanding will be there or completely not complete uh, comprehension will be there, but the doubt toward his words won't be there. So these 10 things are really, really, very important. Remember that. And by knowing, by understanding that, that Tathagata possesses this power, teach Dhamma, so his entire Dhamma is for well-being of all the beings. So such a great powers our teacher possess, and we should uh, we should be very proudful that our teacher has this power. So by this power, what he teaches the Dhamma, let this Dhamma be helpful for us to realize these four noble truths in his Gautam Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.